Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Scott Zarwell, and he's having a little trouble designing a, a trapdoor, so I'm going to help him out real quick. I'll just show you the trapdoor. So, before I show you this, the way to open a trapdoor with a lever, I'm going to show you if you wanted to make it so that it was a hidden secret door or something. So say you had like tracks that were leading up to a certain point, but they ended there. Well, if the player goes to that point, they can press enter on it or the action button and it'll say the tracks lead here but they disappear something's fishing about the ground here search the ground for clues the player has options if you say yes it, it'll let the player know that they found a hidden lever do they want to pull it if they say yes then it opens a trap door plays sound effects and transfers the player into a hidden area you can also put like a ladder that would transport you back up now let me show you um, another way to do this instead of turning on a self switch a here turn on another switch so in this method we're not going to be using the find it on a, a secret we're gonna open this hatch or this trap door with the switch from somewhere else so we're in this time we're gonna set the conditions to a, a switch instead of a self switch so we're not even gonna use uh, this page at all we still could but if we want to control it with the switch we're gonna do this we're going to create a new event, give it an image of a switch or whatever you want it to look like really. We're going to do a move event. This is going to change the graphic before it actually turns the switch. So in order to change the graphic on an event, um, you're going to do a new new event. Um, you're going to give it the graphic. You're going to set, <clears throat> set it to this event instead of player. And you're going to go turn left, turn right, turn up. And that's going to have it so the switch starts in the up position and then it moves to the, to the down position. Underneath that, we're going to play a sound effect. It's gonna open up uh, the, the hatch, and we're gonna play a. Uh, we're gonna do a control switches, which is uh, under game progression. Get control switches. And we're gonna select that same trapdoor switch. We're gonna turn that on, and that's gonna be the same switch that's set in the conditions for this to happen. So it's gonna look like this is what the event that's gonna play unless the switch is on. And once that switch is on, this is gonna happen. Now, if you want the player to be able to like fall through here and jump down, we're gonna select the through. That's gonna let the player walk on that location even if that tile does not normally allow it. We're gonna set the trigger to, to player touch so as, as soon as the player walks on this tile, this is gonna happen. It's gonna play the, the fall sound effect and it's gonna transfer the player uh, simulating that he fell down or jumped down. Let's double check it, make sure it works right. There it is, and it lets the player walk on the tile that normally you wouldn't be able to walk on, and you fall down. So Scott, hopefully this helped you. If you have any more questions, just let me know, uh, man, on my Patreon page or on my Twitter account. You can hit me up on the WordPress. Um, you can leave a comment below, however you want. Thank you guys for watching this. If this was helpful to anybody else, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial.